For this example, I'm going to be using the Ultra Accountant skin. What I have here is I've set up a text module that already has some text. What I've done is I've set the first About Us text as heading 4, as this is going to be the subheading. And then for the second What We Do, this is going to be the main heading of the page, so I've set it as heading 1. And finally, for the last paragraph, I've kept it as a regular paragraph text. Now by default, the heading and paragraph font styling are responsive. What this means is that when you view this on either tablet or mobile, it'll already resize to fit directly on the screen. You'll see that the paragraph text automatically wraps to make sure that it fits the mobile screen. Now let's say I want to edit my text and make it bigger on desktop. What I'll need to do is go back to desktop, take it out on preview, and then go to the styling tab, and on the font drop down, add let's say 25 pixel. Click done. And now when you see my text on desktop, you'll see that it pops out more. But on tablet, it may not look as good. And then on desktop, it might seem a little bit too big. Now we can fix this using the responsive styling feature. To do this, go to mobile, take it out of preview, double click on the text module, and on the styling tab, you'll see that the font you'll see the font size that I've added on desktop. What I'll need to do is just change it to 15 pixel. So if I click preview, you'll see that it's on 15 pixel. And then on mobile, the same 15 pixel will be applied. But when I go on desktop, you'll see that it still shows 25 pixel, the original of what I've added before. See, the cool thing about the responsive styling feature is that you are not only limited to the font size, but you can actually have different font styling for different devices. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial video, we want to show you the full capabilities of the builder. So we're going to have a little bit of fun and change up the font styling for both on tablet and on mobile. So what we're going to do is going to take it out of preview and we're going to keep it the same way right now on desktop but on tablet we're going to be changing it up a little bit. What I'll first do is change the row overlay to a different color. I'm going to choose a bright yellow color and then I'm going to edit the text module. What I'll first do is edit the text font color. I'll choose a different color that's a little bit darker. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be changing the heading font style, font face I mean. So for the first heading font 1, I'm going to choose the font face called Satisfy to give it a little bit of wow. And I'm going to increase my font size to 75 pixel only for the heading font, heading one font. And, in, and then for the heading four font, I'm also going to be changing the font face. And I'm gonna change it to Fugaz one. And I'm also going to change the font size and make it a little bit bigger switch it to 25 pixel and now I'm going to click done and then on mobile I'm also going to be changing it I'm also going to be changing the roll overlay color I'm gonna bring it back to something a little bit dark as well and then I'm going to edit the text again and on the styling tab, I'm going to change the font color to something a little bit brighter. And 
then for my heading, my heading one font, instead of using the satisfy font face, I'm going to change it to Sacramento. And the font size is a little bit too big for mobile, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and change it to 45 pixel. For my heading 4 font, I'm going to change it to a font face called Oswald. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and change it to 20 pixel. Now I'm going to click done. And then on preview, what you'll see now is different font styling for three different devices. So on mobile, you'll see this font, font styling. And then on tablet, you'll see what we added a while ago, which is a satisfy font face. And then on desktop, you'll see we'll have the regular styling that we added when we first started the tutorial. So this is really cool as it gives you the flexibility to change whatever font styling you want for different devices as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any suggestions on how to use this feature or suggestions on the next video tutorial that we should make, feel free to leave a comment below or email us at info at themify.me. For more Themify tutorial videos, check out our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.